Well, that's veteran bluesman Darren Watson and his band with their new song, National Guy. And Darren is very proud to announce the release of his sixth album, Too Many Millionaires. He's also off on an 11 date national tour, which will literally take him all around the country. And he's jetted up here first to tell us all about it. Welcome, Darren. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Must I say, first, that video, you were just commenting, how much did that video cost you to make? Uh, well, I had to hire the whole local hall, that was $89, and the rest was just done on my phone. Wow! No way. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's so, impressive. Yeah. yeah. We took some other cameras there, but we ended up just using my cell phone. So Technology pretty, these days. That's amazing. Oh, no, yeah. good. No, so no, thanks, no, New Zealand On Air. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Tell us a bit about your career in music, because when you were practicing before, everyone in the studio stood still and watched. You are just so good. So tell us thanks, a bit man. more about how it got to this point. Um, well... It got to this point, weirdly enough, from, from starting out playing corner in the Salvation Army Band as a young kid, and I just got excited about music, not so much about the religion, and then I figured out that I couldn't sing and play trumpet, so I started learning a little bit of piano, and then for some reason, when I got to high school, I was um, kind of finger-tapped by this guy who had a band, and he wanted a bass player, so I learned to play bass and started singing <laughs> from about 14. I was playing in bars. and. It's been a wow. trajectory since then of kind of... Well, you can tell I'm still wearing the same clothes as in the video, so I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> um, so you are still a Kiwi musician, after Exactly. All. <laughs> but, um, but it's been great. You know, I've learned a heck of a lot about music, people, New Zealand. I've seen New Zealand backwards and other parts of the world touring and stuff, so it's been really cool. That is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your days in the band Chicago Smoke Shop. Then it just became Smoke Shop, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, it was a silly name, really. We just picked it off the back of an album cover when we needed a name. We had a week to put it in the paper. And, <laughs> and then, then next thing you know, we're on the charts and we're stuck with it. So, um, <laughs> Love that. But, yeah, that, that was great. I mean, I was kind of 20 years old and touring and on TV and yeah you know we all thought we were pff, couldn't get through studio doors you know our heads were so big <laughs> and um, but man it was a great way to kind of get to know the country again and and I learned so much in that kind of three or four years and it, I, a lot of the guys gave it away after that a few of them went overseas and did other things but um, I decided just to keep kind of playing the music and just carve my own path really. And on the music, blues mm -hmm. is your forte. Has it always been blues and what made you gravitate towards that? Yeah, well, because I think when I was growing up, I grew up in a place called the Hutt Valley. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it was either kind of, it was either heavy metal or kind of the pop of the time. And I kind of hated both of it. So I just, I heard Muddy Waters and bang, it just fired nice. me up. And then it, I loved it because it's music that has so much heritage and I could kind of go back and discover so much and learn. Mm. You know, it's such a field field, isn't it's, it? It's, and it's amazing, just the, even the history, the socio-economic history, the, the slavery, the whole thing, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing to, to learn about. Has it changed, do you think, your music over the past three decades or so? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've, when I started out, every song was I love you, I don't love you. Um, <laughs> and, and now I've kind of given myself permission to write about other things, you know, like yeah, there's personal politics and politics politics and just kind of those little kind of things you don't figure out till you get a bit older, you mm. know, like how you become your dad and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> and I just listened to that clip before, um, I'm a national type of man, is that a play on national, the party? No, or is no, it no, just no. I just nationalist didn't work. I was just kind of just a, a, a kind of a thing about kind of nationalism and this whole kind of, you know, in the Trump universe and, right. you know, how greed has become almost acceptable. And yeah. I just wanted to write about that. Just like Gordon Gecko said. Yeah. Um, this album's all acoustic. What made you decide to do that? Yeah, well, I've, I've been doing a lot of acoustic shows in the last few years and people have been coming up to me at the end of the gig going, oh, I've got this record, I've got that. Where's your acoustic record? And I, got, I heard so much of it and I thought, no, oh, well, I better bloody well do but it. I'll give you one then. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I did a crowdfunding campaign with Pledge Me and we raised uh, ten thousand dollars and it helped pay for the vinyl pressing, which is great. Now you're going on the road, which is fantastic. Yep. Do you take a band with you? Yeah, yeah. So I'll be basically the band that played on the album will be touring with me. So it's uh, Delia Shanley on drums and percussion, Steve Moody, who used to play with Thomas Oliver. He's a great bass player, double bass, oh. and the guy that I formed Chicago Smoke Shop with back in 1985 on harmonica, wow. Terry Casey. So and you have some special guests as well. Yeah. In a few towns, I can't actually say who they are, but there's a few people in Auckland especially who I know quite well who I used to play with. Um, Midgey, maybe, if he turns uh, up. Nice. If he turns up, <laughs> hey Midge. <laughs> He's got it nice. <laughs> <laughs> got it in your diary now, Midge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. And um, 
you going to do the breadth of the country? Well, yeah, well, we start in Wellington on the, uh, it's only a couple of days' time, on the yes. 3rd, and then we're in Auckland on the 12th. I'm going to bypassing a few places. Um, basically, between the 3rd and the 26th, we go from Auckland to Dunedin. So, oh, yeah, oh, such excellent. a class what a cool act. Thing it's going to be do. great fun. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Well, Darren Watson's brand new album, Too Many Millionaires, is out today. His 11 day New Zealand tour uh, takes him all around the country, as we just said, kicks off in Wellington Thursday. You can check out his website for tour details and make sure that you stick around too because Darren is going to be performing for us at the end of the show. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you, you Darren. Thank yes, you. he is performing and that is free for you. <laughs> Otherwise, go and see the tour.